स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दैट एक्सरसाइज 2.3 क्लास 9 जनरल मेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 लुक देयर आर टू क्वेश्चन 5 फ्रॉम 1 1 एंड 2 एंड बोथ आर लॉन्ग डिवीजन मेथड सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 फ्रॉम 1 1 लेट्स हैव अ लुक नाउ हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस वन स्टूडेंट्स नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दैट 5 रोमन 1 पी एक्स इज गिवन 3x स्क्वायर माइनस 2y 6 माइनस 40 एंड जी एक्स इज गिवन 3x प्लस 10 नाउ uh we are uh, going to solve this one by using the long division method so first of all here 3x plus 10 now look students there is 3x square so if i write here you know only x i repeat again only x if i write here then x into 3x means 3x square will be here and next one 10 into x means 10x okay student now look here after that uh, second line sign will be changed so This become minus. This also become minus. Cancel. Now minus ten minus two means minus twelve x, and there is forty four zero. Now look, there is minus twelve x. So here, if I just write down that four only, then minus four into three means minus twelve, and there is x. So x here. Now minus four and ten, which means minus forty. Now look after that. The sign will change. So here also I will change cancel cancel so answer, remainder is zero so here I must will write that p x is this one g x is this one and uh, q x will write here that q x equal to x minus four and r x is the remainder is zero this is the five one only students look now that five Roman two the question is given here p x and g x again here we are going to you know solve by using the long division methods now. This is the question. So I have just written here the question, and this is the p x and this is g x. Now let's have a look how to solve this one. Go for the long division. Two x cube and there is two x only. So look, student, there is two x cube and there is two x. So if I write here only x square, then x square into two x it becomes two x cube. Now there is one and x. So here could be x square. Now look after that sign will change. In the division, long division method, the uh, sign of the second line will change. So, if it is plus, then minus, plus, then minus, cancel this one. Now, seven minus one, which means six x square. Seven minus one, then six x square plus there is seven x plus two. Now look after that. You know, two x plus one, and there is six x square. So, if I write here that. Now look, student. There is six x square, seven x plus two. So here two x already. So if I write here only, you know, uh, if I write here only three x. So three two is a six x into x x square. Now three x and uh, there is plus one, which means uh, there could be three x after multiplying. Sign will change now. Plus become minus. Plus become minus. This cancel. Now seven minus three, four x and there is plus two. Now look after that. There is four x and there is two only. So if I write here only two, two two is a four, and there is x means four x. Now two ones are two. So hey, sign change now. So cancel. Remainder is zero. So here I will write that p x g x already given here. Now this is the quotient means q x. So we'll write here that q x equal to x square plus three x plus two, and remainder r x equal to zero. This is the answer of the five Roman two. Students, look now. Six Roman one is the polynomial. This one is completely divisible by two x plus three. Let's have a look now whether it is completely divisible or not. For this, we have to go for the long division method. Now let's have a look whether this one be divisible or by this or not. Look, student. Six Roman one p x and g x is given here, and we are going to solve by the using the long division method. Look after that. Uh, 2x plus 3 and this value is there. So 14x square. There is minus. So look here, student. If there is minus, so if I write here only minus 7x. So look here. Plus minus minus 7 to the 14x into x x square. Now look here. Plus minus minus 7 three is how much? 21. So 21 and x is there x. Now look after that. The sign will change obviously. This minus become plus, and this minus become plus. This is cancelled. Plus minus cancel now. Plus twenty one minus thirteen. I repeat again. Plus twenty one minus thirteen. Now what is the answer then? Look, twenty one minus uh, twenty one uh, minus thirteen is eight obviously eight x. But say, since sign is big, uh, you know in front of the bigger number, so there is plus only. Sign is in front in front of the bigger number now. The minus become plus. So there is eight x and there is twelve only. Now look, student. 
how to solve this one if i write down here just you know uh, only 4 4 to the 8 8x and 3 fourths are 12 now look again sign will change so plus become minus plus become minus cancel these two remainder is 0 now look student here quotient is how much quotient qx equal to minus 7x plus 4 and remainder rx equal to 0 now just after that in the question it is mentioned that we have to check whether it is completely divisible or not so obviously since remainder is 0 so we'll write here the last line that of our Therefore, remainder, remainder, remainder Rx equal to 0. So, Px, so Px equal to minus 14x square, then minus 13x plus 12 is completely, is completely divisible by, is completely divisible, divisible by Gx gx value is 2x plus 3 this is the answer of 6 roman 1 look student 6 roman 2 examine if x minus 7 is a factor of x cube plus uh, 2x cube minus 3x plus 4 let me check uh, whether this is a factor of not now let's have a look how to solve this one look student now uh, px is given here now the you know uh, they are you know the zeros actually is given here that x minus 7 equal to 0 now let me check whether it is you know value of x x is equal to 7 here now we'll put the value of here so since x is equal to 7 so in place of x i will put the value here so after that uh, i will write here that p 7 equal to now in place of x i will definitely write here 7 because value of x is 7 here now after that 7 q plus 2 into 7 square 3 into 7 plus 4 now look student after that 7 cube is 3 4 3 because 7 square is 49 it is not like 3 7 21 7 into 7 into 7 now 7 square is 49 49 into 2 uh, i think 98 yes plus here 98 now 3 7 is 21 plus 4 now look after that if i go for the addition here student 1 by 1 look i am doing here by the rough of this uh, side here that uh, 343 then 98 and 4 if i go for the addition here the rough work so what will happen here look now uh, 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 3 uh, 15 5 carry 1 8 plus 3 to, uh, 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 3 15 5 carry 1 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 4 14 4 carry 1 3 plus 1 4 4 4 5 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 4 14 4 carry 1 3 plus 1 4 so if i add 3 4 3 98 4 so this could be 4 4 5 minus 21 now 5 minus 1 is uh, subtract 21 the 5 minus 1 is 4 then 4 minus 2 is 2 4 24 4 24 it is not equal to 0 now the last line we'll write here that uh, you know uh, that is the remainder the remainder the remainder is not is not 0 the remainder is not 0 therefore you know x cube plus 2x square minus 3x plus 4 you know is not is not divisible by is not divisible by uh, that is uh, x minus 7 and last line we write that therefore you know 7 uh, x minus 7 is not the factor is not the factor of uh, x cube plus 2x square minus 3x plus 4 if we get 0 here which means this could be the factor of the given polynomial since it is not 0 which means this is not the factor students now the last question of 2.3 there question number 7 there is a question polynomials uh, two polynomials are given and did these two polynomials are divided by x minus 2 and equal remainder we have to find the value of a only now let's have a look how to solve this one look student number seven question uh, there is two polynomial p1 and p2 and uh, it is uh, you know uh, the, in the question it is given uh, by the uh, divisible by x minus 2 so here we can write after that since th this is a solution actually i'm writing here now since the zero since the zero of x minus 2 since the zero of x minus 2 is 2 why this is because look here student uh, x minus 2 equal to 0 so 
x equal to 2 so according to the remainder theorem you know uh, so according according to the remainder theorem according to the remainder theorem remainder theorem uh, p 1 x equal to a x cube plus 3 x square plus 5 x minus 4 is divided by is divided by divided by x minus 2 then remainder then remainder is p 2 there is minus then there is p 2 therefore we can write here that p 1 in place of x i will write here just 2 now look student after that here also you can write p1 okay now look after that so p1 to equal to this value i will write here now a now in place of x i will just put the value of x means uh, 2 cube plus 3 into 2 square plus 5 into 2 minus 4 now look after that 2 cube is 8 there is 8a and 2 square is 4 3 4 is a 12 then 5 2 is a 10 minus 4 now look student after that well there is 8a plus you know 10 minus uh, 10 plus uh, 12 is 22 minus 4 now 8a 22 minus 4 is 18 8a plus 18 this is p1 2 after putting the value of 2 now next one this is the remainder after putting p1 2 now next one will be again we will write that since since again we will write here that since the 0 the 0 of x minus 2 of x minus 2 is 2 since the 0 of x minus 2 is 2 why because here is x minus 2 equal to 0 so x is equal to 2 now just after that x minus 2 equal to 0 then x equal to 2 so here also i can write that according to the according according to the remainder theorem remainder theorem according to the remainder theorem uh, p 2 x equal to the condition uh, the question is x x cube means the polynomial x cube minus 4x uh, minus a uh, is divisible by is divisible by x minus 2 then the remainder then the remainder then the remainder is p2 there is minus 2 so it is 2 now just we'll put the value in place of p2 in place of x i will just put down 2 here so next would be there is 2 cube minus 4 into 2 then minus a now 2 cube is 8 8 minus 4 to the 8 again then a now look student plus it minus it cancels so answer is you know only minus a this is the remainder of p2 okay now look this is not the end but after that in the question is also mentioned the two remainders are equal we have to find the value of you know uh, a now let's have a look now since the two remainders since the you know remainders 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 are equal since the remainders are equal therefore we can say here that p1 2 equal to p2 2 now what is the value of p1 2 here 8a plus 18 this is the value of p1 2 and p2 2 value is minus a now we have to find out the value of you know a again so 8a and a will be here and this could be minus 18 if i ch change the side now there is 9a and there is minus 18 now after that student a equal to minus 18 by 9 go for the cancellation a equal to minus 2 this is the answer of the question number 7 and this is the last question of exercise 2.3 one more thing i must will say that this last question of exercise 2.3 is quite important